video is sponsored by Squarespace. Oh, well, maybe we'll talk about this. Yeah. This So I got up and started to get dressed and then my twin is wearing the same thing. <laughs> Except mine's like the navy and white stripe. And then we both have the same trench coat. And so we're twinning today. So, but we're heading off into town. We're gonna go grab some breakfast at Gail's and then I'm gonna head off to the library. Kate's gonna go to lectures and I need to get some admin done this morning and then the rest of the day is dissertation time. such a good productive session this morning in the library. I needed to get a bunch of admin done because I want to be able to focus on the dissertation for the rest of the time that I'm here. And I just had a couple of projects that needed to be completed, including finishing editing a YouTube video. And I got that done in like three hours. So now I am all clear and I'm meeting up with Chanel for some lunch over at George Street Social. So I'm gonna head over there now and then we're going to switch up locations this afternoon and go study somewhere else because I've been in the rad camp for like two days and need a little change of scenery. So might go to the Duke Humphreys, not sure, but I need some food. And now for a quick message about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an online website builder where you can create and edit a website from scratch or using a template with no coding experience necessary. With features that allow you to customize fonts, colors, add a variety of blocks, images, and videos, you can make your website entirely your own. I've used Squarespace for five years now and have used it to operate my personal website and online businesses, including the website for Acceptance Society. With Squarespace, you have access to comprehensive analytics and e-commerce tools, making creating a website and starting your own online business seamless. If you're interested in checking out Squarespace for yourself, use my discount code in the description below for a discount on your website to subscription or domain. Now let's get back to the video. <laughs> lunch with Chanel, had a little browse at Blackwell's, broke my book buying ban. 
to be honest. But I've been really wanting to read this one and it just had to happen. So now I am actually just gonna go back to the rad cam and I'm gonna do a different reading spot tomorrow. But I'm just gonna stick to what we know, go back, cause I only have a couple of hours before Kate's out of class. So I'm gonna head back, get a bit of reading done, do some primary source analysis. been a nice long productive day i left the library at like six i ended up just ordering some food to the college because kate is out for a formal dinner and honestly i just needed some quiet time to decompress i played stardew valley with my boyfriend and now i'm just getting into bed I'm gonna do a little bit of reading. I picked up this book at Blackstone's. This is If He Had Been With Me by Lauren Nolan. The second book, or I guess the same, like the telling from the male point of view recently came out and I've just been seeing a lot of reviews and people seem to like it. And I want to read a little bit more like kind of standard romance novels. I've read a lot of like historical fiction based romance novels. I read, what was it, Taking Down the Duke, I think. Just figured I'd pick up a nice fun read because I've been reading a lot of heavy, heavy material the last couple of days and needed something a bit different. Not necessarily lighthearted, but I just needed something a little bit different. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, but I'm gonna continue this vlog through tomorrow. So, I will see you in the morning.
I think I've officially hit my capacity for today. I honestly was just sitting there in the library and could not focus. When I'm working on primary sources, I find it quite draining, mostly because I have to pay such close attention to what's being said and how it's being said. And I worked through like 30 different statutes in my notes today and coding them and just feel like I'm a little tired, a little done. So I think I'm done with the dissertation for today. I'm gonna go run a little errand, go pick up some shampoo because I don't have anything to wash my hair and then just grab like a tea or something and wait for Kate to be done with class. And we have plans to go get ramen tonight. So I'm really looking forward to that. But it is cold, I'm tired. I've been looking at legal records all day. I need a break. So we're gonna go to a cafe, I'm gonna read my book and get a cup of tea. I just realized that I have not shown you my book haul and I was supposed to be on a book buying ban in all fairness, but I will be honest with you, I caved because I have a problem and every time I walk into Blackwell's, I seemingly lose all sight of my senses and ability to manage my impulses and so I ended up with four new books. So the first one you've seen, I've been reading this, this is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. And this is what I would describe as a coming of age story that feels very much like Taylor Swift's You Belong With Me. However, I put it on my Instagram and everybody has said, prepare yourself, the ending is really sad. So now I am both wanting to know what happens, but also kind of afraid to know what happens. Now, the other book that I got is The Male Perspective, which is If Only I Had Told Her by Laura Nolan. So in this book, we have Autumn and Finn, and it's told from Autumn's point of view, and they have been friends since they were kids, but they drifted apart in middle school and their moms are best friends. They live across the street from each other and their lives are like slightly intertwined, but I don't really know how this is gonna end up. Apparently it's gonna be tragic, but this is from Finn's point of view and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Now, the other book that I got is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This is City of Bones. I apparently had picked up the wrong book in the Shadows Hunter series. I had picked up Clockwork Angel, but I was informed by TikTok that there is a particular reading order to the Shadow Hunter universe. And so I have been waiting until I actually saw this in person and they just so happen to have a copy of Blackwell's. So obviously I had to have it. And then lastly, we've got A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saft. I was recommended this book because I'm really into like YA fantasy and like romanticy books and I love them. And I'm now very cozy and I feel much better being back in the room. My back is getting a little sore from sitting in libraries all week, but I had such a good productive day made good progress on my primary sources, but I can just tell that I'm feeling a little run down. So taking the rest of the tonight off and we're just gonna hang out with Kate. So Kate and I are gonna get some ramen, so I'll keep on recording to take you on through the rest of the night because I'd like to show you all the other things that I do besides working on my dissertation. So I hope you enjoyed my little book haul and now I'm going to keep on reading. to speak to us. What's what's calling to you? 
So I've actually read this. I got an, oh yeah. I got an R copy of it, and it's great. Okay, for those Absolutely. for those listening, this is Mongrel. Mongrel. By Hanako Footman. Yes. I'll put an image. What is calling to you, Katie? See, I really want to get into Ken Follett. Yeah. But I picked up Pillars of the Earth, or no, it wasn't the Pillars of the Earth. It was the it was the next one. Okay. About like the early modern period, and so I need to read that before I can like decide whether or not I actually like him as an author, and like want to read more. And she, one of her books that I read last year was called um, Whereabouts, and it was incredible. Probably one of the best books that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's okay. Do you want to grab your book? I think my book is probably going to be upstairs. Well, that was awkward. They didn't even notice that my camera was right there. Shall we? Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh no, there's no rush. We're in a bookstore. <laughs> there is no rush. As you might be aware from my recent vlogs, I've become quite a fantasy lover. So we're in the fantasy and sci-fi section. And there's nobody here. <laughs> So everybody seems to be reading this book. Okay, I'm sure everybody on Book Talk that has been reading Allie Hazelwood's Bride. Yeah. Okay, I have I have like feelings about Allie Hazelwood though. She's oh, the one that she's the one that wrote like Love Theoretically. Love Theoretically and Love Hypothesis, which yeah. Can't read. There's just there's just problematic themes about relationships between students and graduate students or students and professors and I'm just not into it. I haven't read the description. All I know is like vampires and wolves. Here like I immediately was like it's giving twilight and I you know we all we all went through the twilight phase but that was in the eighth grade. We've grown up since then. Now we move on to the discovery of witches. Kate and I are tucked into bed. She's got her new book, The Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. I'm gonna continue reading If He Had Been With Me and I also adding to my earlier purchases, I got Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. But it is time to log off for the night and peace out with this vlog. Thank you for watching. And remember to check out Squarespace in the description below. Like and follow for more vlogs, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends. Bye.